All right, welcome back, my dear students. So in this lecture here, I'm going to start adding uh, a lot of more functionality to our little application here. Uh, basically, what we're missing is the update and delete at this point. Now we could add some buttons here and you know do it that way. That would be easy to do. But I want to actually do it in another fashion that will help you, uh, you know, get more knowledge and be more creative with your applications out there. Basically, learn more. I like to do things, you know in a different way sometimes so my students can learn as much as, as possible right that's my goal as an instructor so anyway what I want to build here basically is that a functionality that when we click on this link here we'll have a box pop up here that will have an input type text with the information from the database for this title we have a button there that you can update it and another button there that you can delete it and maybe a button there to close that box right so there's a whole bunch of functionalities that we can add to this little application here. And I just want to, you know, help you add that one there. So anyway, let's start. All right. So the first thing is the markup. We need a markup for this, uh, for the next bots here and the link and the functionality for jQuery. Now, for those of you that, you know, don't know much jQuery, I have a really good course that can help you even get a lot better than what you're learning in this course. So let's build a markup. Let's go all the way to the bottom here. And if you see, I'm, I'm already putting a little um, comments here. So I suggest you do the same for your code. Right here in this div with a class of row, I'm going to actually build another uh, table here. Well, not a table, but a container like this. And let's call it action container all right like this there we go and we can put a little comment here and we can say something like uh, let's just do this one here copy this one there select it oops that took everything there there we go all right so we need to actually put something here so that way we know it works and now we need to get the links. All right, so let's go to display underscore cars and right here on the title, let's actually create a link here. And let's close it. There we go. That should be good to go there. And so if you refresh it here, you can see the little hello here and the links are working already. All right, perfect. So what else? Well, we need some type of, we need to hide, first of all, the um, this markup right here. So we need this ID. Let's go all the way to the top to write this, all right? Put, put your comments. I'm not going to put it because I don't want to spend time on that right now since your time is valuable, right? So we have this ID and we're going to target it and we're going to say, I want you to just hide it in jQuery, save it. We go back, refresh, it's save, it's hidden. So it's working. The next functionality is the link. When we click on this link here, we want to be able to open something, right? So let's put a link there. So let's say, not a link, an ID. Let's write an ID here for this link and let's call it title link. Now I'll show you what happens in a minute. I already know what's wrong, but I want to show you what's wrong just in case in the future you have that issue yourself, all right? So let's go back to index and let's write the functionality. So let's target that and we're going to say on, we're going to use a function called on, click and then write the function here, parentheses and two curly brackets and bring it down. On click of this ID, I want you to just say alert. Now, if I say this, this should work, right? I mean, this is correct, and you can verify that, but if you go here, you can see that if I click on it, it doesn't work. And actually, we need to put a hash on display cars right here, so that link doesn't submit. Let's go back. If I click on it, nothing happens. All right, and the reason why is because this data here is being displayed dynamically. 
all right? So because it's been displayed dynamically, basically it's not really available in the DOM yet, right? When we are clicking on it. We are trying to get that data in the DOM, but it's not because it's been displayed dynamically. So what we need to do is we need to go back to index and take this code out of here and include it in that file where the dynamic code is. So we'll come all the way to the bottom of the file and save it. And now if we go back to it and refresh, I click on this and it works. Beautiful. But look what happens if I click on the second one. I double click it, triple click it, and nothing works. Just the first one. Why? Well, when you have dynamic contact like this in the loop, all right, you're only going to get the first item from there because you're using an ID. And I know that is weird, and but that's the way it is, all right? So let's go back to um, to this link right here and make it a class, all right? Remember that. That's super important. That's going to make you a better developer. I'm trying to give you, you know, my experiences, my mistakes from the past, and so that way you can be better. So we have a class there. Let's make sure that this is a class. Save it. Refresh it. And now if we go to the second one, it works. All right? If you go to the last one, it works. Beautiful. So they all working, all of them. All right? So beautiful. All right. So this is working now. So what do we want to do when we click it? Well, we want to actually show the action container. All right? So let's target this guy right here. And that's the first thing we want to do. We want to show it. Save it. Refresh. Come here and we click it. We save it, but we are hiding it right away. All right? That's just because it's going around in the loop again. All right? So, for now, we're going to leave it like this. I just wanted to show you that. And later on, we'll build a functionality, another button there that will actually um, be available here to close it. All right? So anyway, thank you so much for watching. On the next lecture, we'll continue with this, and we'll do it a little faster, right? So be ready.